Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our second session for trigonometric functions. In the previous session, uh, we have discussed uh, the four quadrants. In the first quadrant, sin theta is uh, first quadrant and second quadrant, sin theta is positive. In the second quadrant, only sin theta and cosec theta are positive. In the third quadrant, uh, tan and cot are positive. In the fourth quadrant, cos and sec are positive, right? Uh, and uh, we discussed uh, the four important basic relationships also. Okay, in this session we'll learn how to find out um, various values. I mean to say, suppose I have to find out sine 1080 or maybe sine 720 degree or maybe cos uh, uh, maybe 135 degree, something like that. Right? Uh, so let's begin this session. Just be ready with your paper and pen. Now, uh, let's calculate these values. So, first of all, what we do? We draw the circle. So, that will be easy for us, right? So, this is the circle. Then, we have the four quadrants. Okay, now I write down 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. All sugar, tea, coffee. Okay, now uh, how do we calculate? Just listen to me carefully. Sign 5 pi by 3. Now 2 pi is 360 degree. Right now, five pi by three is two pi minus pi by three. Right, two pi minus pi by three. So three twos are six pi minus pi. That is five pi by three. So either you write two pi minus pi by three, or you write three sixty minus pi by three. Okay. So sine two pi minus pi by three. Okay, now sine 2 pi minus pi by 3 can be written as 0 minus pi by 3. Okay, now that is sine minus pi by 3. Okay, now we have already discussed in the previous session what is sine minus theta, that is minus sine theta. Right, now you don't have to mug up the things as I told you earlier. Right, this is the line of 0. Now this is the fourth quadrant right so in fourth quadrant sine will be negative right so sine it is 0 minus pi by 3 that means it is minus sine pi by 3 now what is pi by 3 pi is 180 by 3 sine 60 degree so what is sine 60 degree that is root 3 by 2 so what is the value of sine 5 pi by 3 that is minus root 3 by 2 how easy it is to calculate right now I take the next one now we have done this now I take uh, maybe sine 510 degree now that is uh, I'm sorry f sine 360 plus 150 degree now sine 360 degree that means one circle is completed right so what you can do is to make it simple you just deduct 360 degree as many 360 degree you can deduct you just deduct right so finally you are left with uh, uh, 510 minus 360 that is sine 150 degree okay so precisely sine 510 degree is sine 150 degree so the first important thing that you have learned is if there is a very big value you just keep on deducting 360 degree till you get a value that is less than 360 degree you can uh, take the example over here 1755 degree just dis uh, d deduct as many 360 as you can right from here also here also right 360 degree means one circle so after completing one circle the situation remains uh, the situation keep on repeating 
okay so precisely sine 510 is sine 150 now sine 150 is what sine 90 plus 60 okay so now sine 90 plus theta sine 90 plus theta that means the second quadrant so sine will be positive and sine 90 plus theta is cos theta right so precisely it is cos 60 degree now cos 60 degree is what 1 by so sine 150 degree or sine 510 degree or cos 60 degree that is precisely 1 by 2. So this is how you can calculate the values. Right. Now to make it more simple you need to learn something. Right. You, you should keep uh, some things in your mind. Now what what's that? See whenever you are adding or deducting something from 90 and 270. Right. Um, just listen to me very carefully 90 plus theta minus theta uh, 270 plus theta minus theta right so when was, suppose I have sine 90 plus minus theta right so if we add or deduct something from 90 then sine converts to cos and uh, uh, cos convert to sine right 10 to cot cot to 10 and sec to cosec and cosec to sec right so mutual conversion takes place now you have to be careful about uh, sign that is will, whether it will be positive or negative so that you can find it from here right so now the things become very simple suppose you have sine 90 plus theta now you are adding or deducting something from 90 then definitely it will be converted to cos theta now whether it will be positive or negative that you have to find out from this circle right uh, 90 plus theta that means it is second quadrant in second quadrant sine theta is positive so sine 90 plus theta that is cos theta but it will be positive because in second quadrant sine theta is positive right now good number of students get confused in second quadrant sine theta is positive but you don't have to write sine theta over here right you just have to consider the sign um, the this trigonometric function this is in the first quadrant or second quadrant so according to that you need to choose this sign but if something is added or deducted from 90 then sign will convert to cos cos will convert to sign 10 will convert to cot cot will convert to 10 sec to cosec and cosec to sec right similarly if something is added or deducted to 180 right sign 180 plus minus theta right so sine 180 plus minus theta if anything is added or deducted uh, from 180 then sine will convert sine will remain sine cos will remain cos sec will remain sec 10 will remain 10 uh, 10 right but how do we choose this uh, choose the sign sine 180 plus theta it that means it is in the third quadrant right so it will be negative First of all, sine 180 plus minus theta, you write it is sine theta only, just put an uh, equal to sine over here. Now 180 plus theta, it is third quadrant, so it will be negative, right? 180 minus theta, write sine theta, because you are adding or deducting in 180. So, and uh, 180 minus theta, second quadrant, that means it is positive sine theta right so that's so easy to calculate so if you adding or deducting in 180 then every trigonometric function will remain itself right sine will be uh, sine cos will be cos and will be 10 but how would you dis uh, decide the whether it will be positive or negative that is from this circle right so the uh, value calculation will be very easy for you okay Similarly, if you add or deduct something in 270, right, sine 270 plus minus theta. So, sine will be converted to cos, cos will be sine, 10 cot, sec, cosec, mutual conversion, right. And after that, how would you choose whether it will be positive or negative, that from this circle. So, suppose you have to find sine 270 plus theta, right. First of all, we are adding to 270, so you write cos theta then sine 270 plus theta that means we are talking about fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant sine theta is negative right so just put up negative sign over here don't write this as sine theta that's really important so good number of students get confused over here they write just sine theta over here see sine 270 plus theta will be negative but the value will be minus cos theta right so sine 270 plus theta first of all just write cos theta then put up negative sign over here similarly if it is sine uh, 270 minus theta still you write right cos theta 270 minus theta is the third quadrant still it will be negative okay if you are to write cos 270 plus theta now 270 
you are adding theta so first of all write sin theta cos will be converted to sin right so this is the first thing cos will be converted to sin now whether it will be positive or negative that will be decided from this circle so 270 plus theta that means we are talking about the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant cos theta is negative so we'll put uh, cos theta is positive so we'll put positive sign over here so it will be positive sin theta be very careful about it do not make mistake cos 270 plus theta first of all uh, 270 you are adding or deducting theta that means you write down sin theta then whether it will be positive or negative you see from here in the fourth quadrant cos theta is positive so just put up a positive sign over here do not write positive cos theta that will be wrong okay now it becomes very easy for us to calculate the values uh, suppose I take a sin minus 330 degree right so it is sine 0 minus 330 right or I can say sine 360 minus 330 right 0 and 360 same so sine 360 minus 330 is sine 30 right now sine 30 is what half okay so sine minus 330 is nothing but half right minus 330 that means you are starting from here and going up to here right this is 30 degree and you are taking an end uh, this clockwise move starting from here and reaching up to here right so precisely sine minus 330 is nothing but sine 30 right if it is clockwise direction you'll be writing minus 330 and if in anti-clockwise direction you'll be writing 30 as simple as that so this is how you can calculate sine minus 330 degree okay now we calculate uh, maybe cos 570 degree first of all let's deduct 360 so from 570 deduct 360 so it is 210 degree so cos 570 is cos 210 degree now 210 can be written as 180 plus 30 right now cos 180 plus theta when we add add or deduct uh, to 180 then cos will be cos only right so cos 180 plus theta is cos theta but we need to check the sign now cos 180 plus theta that means we are talking about third quadrant 180 plus theta in third quadrant cos is negative right so cos 180 plus theta is minus cos theta okay so cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2 and we have minus sign over here so cos 570 that is cos 210 that will be minus cos 30 that is minus root 3 by 2 isn't it very simple uh, now similarly suppose I see sine 1845 degree right so first of all from 1845 we deduct as many 360's that we can deduct now 360 into 5 is 1800 right so 5 circles are completed right after 5 circles we are just left with 45 so sine 1845 will be equal to sine 45 isn't it just one step question one step solution now sine 145 that you know that's 1 by root 2 as simple as that okay similarly uh, I have done this I have done this this is okay similarly uh, we can see sine uh, 10 minus 585 degree so first of all 585 minus 360 so 10 minus 585 will be equal to 10 minus 225 so that is 10 360 minus 225 360 minus 225 is equal to 10 135 okay now 10 135 is 10 90 plus 45 now 10 90 plus theta when we add or deduct from 90 then 10 is converted to cot so 1090 plus theta is cot theta 
Now whether it will be positive or negative that we see from here. Now 10, 90 plus theta it is in second quadrant. In second quadrant 10 theta is negative. So I write negative over here. Right? Now cot 45 is 1. So it will be minus 1. So 10 minus 585 minus 225, 10 135 that's minus 1. As simple as that. Okay? Similarly, we can see uh, the sign 4530. So 4530, if I deduct 3, 6, that is 10 circles. So that 0, 3, 15 minus 6 is 9. So that's 930. Still I can deduct 360. In fact, 360 and 360, two more circles can be deducted. So precisely it is 210 degree. So sine 4350 is sine 210. Right? So that is sine 180 plus 30. Now we add or deduct in 180, then we'll be getting sine will remain sine. So it is sine 30. Now we choose whether it will be positive or negative. Now 180 plus theta, that means it is third quadrant. In third quadrant, sine theta is negative. So we put negative sine over here. So it is minus sine 30, that means minus half. Okay? Now suppose we calculate 10, 11 pi by 6. Right? 11 pi by 6. So we can write 2 pi minus pi by 6. Right? 6 to the 12 pi minus pi that's 11 pi by 6. Now 2 pi is what? 360. So it is 10 360 minus 30. Right? So it is 360 minus 30 that means minus 10 30. So 10 30 is a uh, 1 by root 3. Okay? So what is the value of 10 11 pi by 6? That is minus 1 by root 3. I hope you are getting my point. So I just take the last one. I think the remaining ones you can do cos 855 degree. So first of all 855 deduct two circles that is 720. That's 135, right? So cos 855 is cos 135. So cos 135 is cos 90 plus 45, right? I'm just not writing degree. You just try to understand this. Cos 90 plus theta, right? If you add or deduct in 90, then cos will be converted to sine. So it is sine 45, but we have yet to see the uh, sine that is positive or negative. So sine uh, cos 90 plus theta that is in cos in neg uh, second quadrant. In second quadrant cos theta is negative. So I'll put minus sine over here. Sine 45 degree is 1 by a root 2. So cos 135 is minus 1 by root 2. So this is how we can calculate the values of trigonometric ratios very easily. The same way you can calculate all the remaining ones, right? 1755, keep on deducting the circles, as many circles as you can, right? Uh, suppose this is 1800 minus uh, 45, right? So you can see sine 360 minus 45 or sine minus 45, that is minus sine 45, that is minus 1 by root 2. Okay, so that becomes very, very simple. Um, sorry, this is cos. So this is, uh, I, I, I saw, solved my, uh, the sine 1755 degree. If it is cos 1755 degree, then it will be positive 1 by root 2 because it is in fourth quadrant, right? 360 minus 45, that means fourth quadrant. So sine, for sine it is minus 1 by root 2, for cos it will be 1 by root 2 just, right? So in this session we learn to calculate the values of the uh, trigonometric ratios, right? In the next session we'll uh, establish, we'll learn or we'll derive the uh, relationships or formulae, okay? So do revise this session and the previous one. I'll see you in the next session once again. Bye-bye.